Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to tack the rattle on the back deck. Now this is, place is really prone to getting rattle and it sucks. So, I'll show you what I used as a remedy. The first thing I tried was felt. The little sticky felts that you put on the bottom of your chairs so they don't scratch the laminate flooring. This was an alright idea. The problem is it was, it was still causing rattle because it only sticks to one side so now it's just another surface to rattle. Um, I tried using the sticky copper, uh, the sticky covers that you put around uh, copper piping, the insulation styrofoam stuff, and again, it was giving me around the same result. So, what I did is I hunted high and low, and I ended up finding this stuff, it was actually in an old VHS case. It held a VHS case together. I know that you can get them from other stuff like, um, I know Klipsch and stuff, when they ship their headphones, they have foam like this, or you could probably hunt some down. Don't ask me where, but yeah, it's about an inch or two thick. The cool thing is, it squishes down to almost nothing. It's really easy, and it doesn't stick to either side. So as it vibrates like this, each side never connect, never making any noise, and this doesn't make any noise at all. So, and you don't have to glue it. Um, I've been using this stuff for a while now, and it has not been um, vibrating out. I was worried about it vibrating out. And I know friends that were I've talked to, and they said that they have been, but that's just because they're running like five, ten thousand watt systems. Now the problem thing, problem is with that is now you have to try and find a way to make sure it doesn't move. What you can do is a dab of glue on the bottom. Don't completely glue it along the whole surface because that defeats the purpose. But if you do like spot gluing one here and one little piece here after you cut it and you pull out the deck board and you actually stick it there, that might work. The other thing you can do, which is also a good idea, is if you want, use the foam, but also use double-sided sticky tape. The, it's uh, another style of foam, right? So you use the double-sided sticky tape and then you use this on top of it because you don't want it to, you know, of course, stick to the window. And then the double-sided sticky tape will hold this, but still allow movement. And in the end, cuts down on the rattle. And what's really cool is I know it's very, it's kind of visible on here, right? You can see those little chunks that are in there. But if you go outside here, you can barely see it along the edge. See? You can sort of see it if I go right over top. But again, it's not as bad as some of the other ways that I've used in the past. So, of course, there's always different ways. Always try them out. Uh, you can always try bolting your back deck. I didn't want to bolt it down with screws. I've known people that have done that, and there's some people who just remove the back deck, but I still wanted to look stock, right? So, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, post in the comment section below, or if you found other remedies, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comment section below. Let me know how you were able to stop the rattle. All right, guys, thanks again for watching and uh, for seeing more on this project that I've got going on here with the tweets and stuff. Uh, be sure to check out the channel, subscribe for updates, and like the video if you thought it was interesting. Thanks again for watching.